Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is the month of May and I thought I would do the color orange because it is such a perfect summer color. I definitely think it is the most wearable color to try out if you're trying to get into color a little bit more. So this was my take on it. I hope you guys enjoy and if you guys wanna see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going back to an old favorite foundation. This is just an OG for me, whether or not I'm into something else for the moment. This one I'll always come back to and I'll always love. It's the NARS Sheer Glow. I'm gonna mix the shades Punjab and Barcelona just because I do have a little bit of a tan and I wanna accentuate that, especially for this look because we're going bronzy and orange and I just, I want a nice bronze base. For concealer, I've been loving the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in medium. It's not super bright because I didn't get a very brightening shade, but I forgot how amazing this concealer is. Like it gets rid of anything and it doesn't crease really badly, which I love. Now I can't not set under my eyes, so I'm just taking my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Powder. This is in the shade two and really just going underneath my eyes and my T-zone. This cream bronzer is a little bit newer to my collection and I'm obsessed. I mentioned before that I wanted to repurchase the Chanel cream bronzer, but I just wanted to see if there was possibly a dupe out there for a lot cheaper. This one, you guys. If you're a similar skin tone to me, or even a little bit darker, I have the lightest shade in Fair. I was about to get light, but then thankfully I watched a YouTube video and the girl showing the lightest color, which was this one, her skin I think was like a tad bit darker than me mine and it was dark on her skin. So I'm glad that I went with Fair. It has a very similar consistency to the Chanel cream bronzer. I would say the Chanel one is a little bit lighter than this one still. There's a lot of shades in this one compared to the Chanel one, which is only one shade. But this one, it's keeping me from buying the Chanel one, I'll just say that. Do you know what I mean? Like, the dew it gives to your face, but like the perfect amount of bronze. I'm obsessed with this cream bronzer, you guys. It is so, so good. Now that we have all of our creams on, I'm gonna go in with this MAC Prep and Prime Loose Powder. I'm just gonna put a touch of it underneath our cream bronzer just to clean it up ever so slightly. Like, I'm not necessarily even baking. I'm just like cleaning it up because I'm just gonna buff it out as soon as I put it on. And I'm also just gonna put a little bit on the middle of my forehead and around my T-zone again. Again, just so then it's not too glossy for me because I am going in with a powder blush. Now I was debating on what kind of blush I wanted to do just because the eyes are gonna be really bronzy and orange. I was like, do I go with like a really peachy blush? Is that too much? I thought let's just keep it nice and bronzy still. So I'm going with an old favorite, the Pillow Talk blush from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna try and keep it on the outer rim a little bit more. It's like a rosy, a rosy bronze and then tap it in the middle. It has a really nice glow to it. I'm just going to buff that into the apples of my cheek and move it upwards. This is just going to complement more of a bronzy base, if that makes sense. That's the base done. Nice, glowy, bronzy, but not orange. You know what I mean? We're going to move on to our eyes, and just like every other color series video, we have no idea what we're going to do. Although, I want it to be a little bit more glittery, I think. A little bit more sparkle to the look, because I feel like the last ones have been just like a liner or a buffed out matte shade of the color, like not a lot of sparkles. So we are going to add sparkle. Naturally, my eyes went to this palette in my collection because it is basically like a orangey bronze colored palette. So I thought I would go in with the middle shade, which is a nice like peachy orange, very, very light and delicate and put that all over my lid, really buff it out just as a nice background. I didn't mention before, but I did previously do my eyebrows just because I haven't changed up the product lately. It's just the Urban Decay Brow Blade and Cool Cookie in case you were wondering. Now I'm going to switch palettes momentarily to this NARS one. It is the Afterglow, Afterglow palette and there's a nice little super soft pastel peachy orange. So we're gonna go with that and go all over our lid. There's also like the slightest bit of glow in it. So pretty. So we're just gonna pack that on our lid. The previous color had a little bit more pink where this one has more orange as you can see. And this is gonna start bringing in more of an orange look. Battery light just went on. No! Sorry about that everyone. This camera is gonna die again. Going back to the Huda Beauty palette and I'm gonna go to this really bright tangerine color and concentrate it more in the inner corner, but still putting it all over my lid. Now going back to the Afterglow palette, 
there is the most beautiful like shimmery orange shade right there so i'm just gonna use my finger for this and start in the center and start patting it all over this is so pretty like understated but it's you know it's adding a little bit of sparkle to the look I'm also going to take the shade underneath, you can't really see right there, but it's a little bit more of a gold. Pop that in the inner corner. Yes, that is what we want. That is a nice pop. Now, with whatever is left on my finger, I'm actually just going to spread that under my eye as well because I didn't want to go heavy under my eyes, but that will just bring in the perfect amount that I want. And also cleans off your finger. Win-win. <laughs> now, I want to do a very subtle outer corner wing. I say subtle and then it's going to be the whole look. Watch. But I really want to make it just the outer corner just to elongate my eye ever so slightly because we are going to add some lashes. All right, you know what? I'm not mad at it. I'm not going to touch it anymore. They're not perfectly symmetrical, but hopefully the mascara and the lashes will cover that. <laughs> Quick coat of my NABLA Major Pleasure Mascara. It's just really just to add a little bit of mascara. And then I'm going to add these lashes, which had no name on them whatsoever, but I feel like they're Huda Beauty. I'll try and find something similar. Really pretty, spiky, fluttery and we'll just compliment the look. All right, those are the lashes on. I feel like this one I put on a little bit lower, but just keep pushing it up to try and <laughs> match the other lash. Those are so perfect for this look because it just ever so slightly wings out, but it's not overwhelming. Like the lash doesn't take over the whole eye because obviously you're seeing the pretty orange and the sparkle come through. We're gonna go on to our lips and I'm gonna do it a little bit more glossy so I'm gonna do MAC strip down liner mostly around my lips ever so slightly filling them in and then I'm gonna go in with this Chanel lip gloss that I used to be absolutely obsessed with in 748 and this is the finished look I think this is the epitome of summer and a little pop of color without being intense just like all my color series videos they're supposed to be wearable I think orange is probably the most wearable out of all the colors because it just nice and bronzy and it really does complement blue eyes. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll chat to you guys soon. Bye!